Coming up Saturday night, Aztecs football back at the Q, 7.30 kickoff against TCU. Our next guest is the senior offensive lineman for the Red and Black. Tommy Draham is with us on Extra Sports 1360. Tommy, we do appreciate the time. How's your week going? Oh, it's going great. No problem so far. Good. All right, Tommy, I know you guys are growing beards. Ryan Lindley and the offensive line. Are you still growing your beard? No, uh, we lost. I figured we'd uh, oh. change up a little bit. I had, I had to trim it up and uh, a little bit. I still got a beard, but I just had to trim it up a little bit. So it's not as bushy. Was the initial yeah. agreement though to grow it for the entire season, win or lose, or was it always uh, first loss? I mean, it was it was never really win or lose. I mean, the way Coach Cornwell described it is uh, after they lost, you know, their MAC championship game, they all shaved. So I mean, I just kind of figured we were doing the same thing. I mean, you don't want to make the arrangement, don't shave until we lose. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Well, Tommy, I know you know you shaved, you uh, grew your beard out. It's pretty solid. It connects. Everything connects. I know Ryan Lindley, I think, has a pretty good beard as well. Were there any beards on that team you look at it and say, oh, that's a bit too patchy for me? It's not connected. <laughs> Who was struggling trying to grow that facial hair? Uh, there were a bunch of guys. I mean, a couple guys don't even grow much. All they grow is some sideburn. <laughs> so uh, so those, those are the guys who didn't even participate just because you know, they felt ashamed of it. And stuff. I got you. Senior offensive lineman Tommy Draham is our guest. Tommy, I know the fans took a little while to get over the loss to Michigan. What about yourself? Are you over the loss to Michigan? Yeah, I mean, we're looking at TCU all the way. I mean, we had you know, that weekend to be bitter about it, but we've had two weeks to get on TCU, to watch film, and to get our minds off Michigan. And, you know, Tommy, I, I guess it's kind of an obligatory question from, for, from us from all, to all you guys. But for an offensive lineman like you, the loss of Coach Hoke or maybe him not contacting guys, it's a little bit different, I would imagine, for you. If you're a defensive player, maybe you don't deal with him as much, but Coach Hoke was so much into what the offensive line did. Was the loss of Coach Hoke or him leaving, was it kind of a big thing for you? Uh, you, know, it, it was, uh, you know, it was disappointing, to say the least. I mean, you know, the way I found out was I was watching Sports Center and I just saw the flash across the bottom line, Coach Hoke signs Michigan. Mm. So, I mean, you know, I, I didn't even get a text or anything, so... That part was uh, disappointing, but, I mean, you know, we were on break. I mean, I, I don't really have any other expectations for how it could have gone down. Hey, Tommy, were there any benefits to the timing of this bye week? I know you probably wanted to get back on the field and have a chance for redemption just to get back out there and grab a victory, but when you guys started to relax and watch tape and realize there's a lot of season left, were there any advantages to the timing of this bye week? Oh, absolutely. I mean, anytime you get a bye week right before league play, it's huge. Because um, this is where you know our real championship run starts, you know, starting with uh, conference play. So uh, I, I love the timing of the bye week, uh, especially coming against TCU, one of the better teams in the conference. Is so little, uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Is it a little bit different trying to get the same emotional high when you know the the game isn't coming towards the end of the week, or is bye week just business as usual? Oh, business as usual. I mean, we we come to work every day. You know, just get to the athletic center get our game faces on, and uh, go to meetings, go to practice, and handle our business. Tommy Draheim and the Aztecs getting ready for Texas Christian University Saturday night. Tommy, talk about blocking for Ronnie, because Ronnie Hillman is not just a special Mountain West Conference running back. He's not a nice local story, but nationally, this guy's getting some buzz. There's some hype surrounding your running back, Ronnie Hillman. How is it to block for a guy that special? Oh, it's great. I mean, he can make you look good when you, know, you didn't <laughs> make your assignment. Uh, you didn't block correctly or didn't hold your block well enough because he's elusive and he's fast and he can break tackles real quick. So um, I love blocks for him. Tom, you say he can make you look good, but you can also make him look good. Is Ronnie the type of guy who congratulates you guys, gives you credit off the field? Oh, absolutely. You know, anytime we score a touchdown or a big one, he's he's right back in the huddle telling us good job, way to go. Uh, you know, real positive guy. So, I mean, you know, it's just great to block for. He's not saying, back off, I have a dance move ready, and then you can congratulate me <laughs> no, in a few minutes. No. All right. he, he, doesn't, he doesn't get like that, so that's, <laughs> that's real nice. We've, we've had some bad experiences with that in the past, but uh, not with Ronnie. And Tommy, you know, as the San Diego State Aztecs, you guys have success over the past couple of years. You get a lot of pats on the back. Let me say, Lindley gets a lot of love. Hillman gets a lot of love. Burris gets a lot of love. How about an offensive lineman? Can you walk around campus and get recognized? You're not the, the most notable guys on the team historically, but can you walk through campus and get some love? Oh, absolutely. I mean, especially with most of us with the beards. Um, <laughs> you know, they'll walk by, congratulate us, shake our hands, uh, you know, say good games, stuff like that. Um, you know, we get plenty of love. Uh, I mean, especially, you know, we can we can wear our SDSU gear with a little bit of pride now. Mm -hmm. uh, 
weren't allowed to do that before. So, uh, you know, that's, that's real nice to be able to do now. Yeah. Tommy Dreheim and the Aztecs are 3-1 and one on the season. Three wins away from being bowl eligible. But, Tommy, as you know, BYU is not on the schedule. As a senior, are you going to miss playing the Cougars? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> really? You don't want to pound them? I mean, I, I would have loved to have beat them. Um, you know, I think they're a little arrogant. I try to think they're uh, an independent school, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, if they're too good for us, you know, we can be too good for them. So, how about TCU? Obviously, getting ready to make that move to the Big East—is it going to be a kind of a goodbye butt whooping, or does it hurt, or does it take away a little bit that they have one of their down years and they're not ranked for this, uh, this matchup? Uh, I think no matter what, we're going to get the best TCU team, especially coming off a loss to SMU. So, I mean, whether they're having a down year or not. After a loss like that, they're gonna they're gonna bring everything they have. So I I don't really consider it taking on a TCU in a down year. All right, I've seen them a little bit, Tommy. Uh, describe specifically what this TCU challenge is all about, because I know you guys are studying game tape, breaking down film. How tough is this gonna be Saturday? Uh, you know they're a tough crew. Uh, real athletic, get to the ball. Uh, Tank Carter, you know, can really find his way to the ball, and so we just have to deal with their athleticism. Uh, and, uh, you know, just outplay them. You know, we got to work harder than them and just uh, be assignment sound. Hey, Tommy, before you go, I want to talk about your head coach, Rocky Long. How much respect is there for Rocky Long? I know sometimes when your previous coach goes, it takes a while for the new coach to gain that respect. But because Rocky was already here as your defensive coordinator, was it a pretty smooth transition in that locker room? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we were all talking about it. You know, Rocky was going to be our, our favorite guy for, uh, you know, taking over position. So um, having Coach Long just take over was, uh, was real smooth. Uh, a lot of carryover. I mean, you know, it's not like we're taking over different offensive scheme, new defense scheme, none of that. So uh, with everything that he did to get this coaching staff together, uh, you know, it's been real nice and, uh, you know, no uh, really rough patches. Real quick, what's his pregame demeanor? Does he give you the big, motivational, inspirational, rah-rah speech, or does he treat you like men and say, you know what to do, let's get out there? I mean, uh, he's, he's done it a couple times, uh, once in a while, but, I mean, he's, he's in there with the defense, and, uh, you know, you were with the uh, offense. So, uh, you know, he's, he's handling his business over there, and just, you know, business as usual for him. I want to see the rah-rah speech. Does he kick over a chair? Does he throw the water cooler? Uh, not quite, not quite. Nah. Well... We'll give him some lessons. We'll tell him how to really get through to you guys. Hey, Tommy, we're wishing you the absolute best. Have a healthy season. I know you're a senior, so every game is special. But we'll see you out there Saturday night. Thanks for coming on the show. All right, not a problem. Thank you very much. You got it. There's Tommy Draheim.